Uh, Atit, thank you so much for that talk. It was really inspiring to hear what Baiju has been doing. Echo fully your uh, thought process on performance marketing. We can chat about it later. But after that, I think one, one of the things I wanted to talk about today is really the topic that I've, we picked up is this area of transparency and, and, new re, and the relevance of brands in the new world. And I think one of the things that got me thinking was, what are we talking about here and what's really the new world? What's changed? And I want to start with the first thing that came to my mind is what's the biggest con job that marketing's done in the last 50 to 100 years? And actually, I, if I had more time, I would have done a bit of a quiz around it. But the reality is the biggest con job that marketing did in the last 50 to 100 years was the story of sugar uh, and sugar being nice for your kids and creating a whole host of world for fats and lipids being the real villain to be able to sell the entire confectionery industry, uh, which was the biggest con job that the industry did for over 100 years. What's changed and why is all this coming out in, in the future, is coming out and in the open and everyone's talking about it. And I think that's the important thing that I really want to talk about, which is really, I think the history of the world is, was all about information asymmetry. There's some few people who knew the information, the rest of the world didn't. And they were dependent on marketers telling them. And I remember when I joined marketing, there was a very big belief that what marketers tell the consumers, the consumers parrot that back. Uh, it's, it's the same thing, by the way, why we have a whole host of world of middlemen, agents, sales representatives, things, and people that really had a bit of semblance of information in the, and spoke and, and, and made a commission out of selling to people who didn't. And that was the world we really belonged to, and that's where the marketing came from. And that's the world that's changed. And the whole digital revolution that we are all part of today has really removed this, this middle layer. It's everyone has the power of information at the back of their hands. Everyone knows what the si result is, what science is, what various different people across the globe are talking about, research is done across the world, and people are getting more and more involved into any of these things. As a, in fact, the role of marketeers is what you say leads to even more bit of searching and researching into the areas that are really available across the globe. That's what marketing is leading to. And, and that's what pushes all of us as marketeers to think differently about what we are doing as, as custodians of brands and what we take to do our brands forward. And that's something coming from a brand like Airtel, I think we've learned it the hard way and I'm going to talk a little bit about our journey of how we are trying to really shift the brand that we had to a new age brand and do it in a different way. And that's what this story is all about today. What's happening to the consumers? Now, obviously, the consumers today are exceptionally vocal. Everything comes onto social media, Twitter, uh, Facebook, everything, all of it is out there. In service industry like ours, the consumer complaints and the call centers are loaded with feedback from the consumers. More and more digitally aware is something I spoke about. People are engaging now with brands offline, online, physical products, online presence, personas, all of that is now becoming one contiguous feel for the brand. And a lot of problems and resolutions are happening real time. It's all in the digital world. It's happening at scale. It's happening in the public eye. And I think that's the space and the environment that we have all moved into. And some examples of it, I'm saying what happened to United Airways and all the service failure they had. Everyone knows about these things. And many other case studies which come to mind of various places, various cases that, that happened in various uh, parts of the world to various brands. I think it's, it's a case in point of saying this is a real threat and a real problem that all marketers re really need to reset our thinking on the brand. You just cannot fool the consumer anymore. And I think that's the crux of what I'm going to talk about today. The other part which is very critical and what's changed is the audience are bored about being bragged to. I think there was a time when we used to put out and, and that once, I, I remember Nitin Paranjpe, our ex CEO of HUL speak once saying, the biggest marketing that HUL used to do 30 years back was to find the 9 a.m. spot on Ramayan in 1988 and get the core main brand that needed to go there. Just put it there, your job was done. The world's changed. People are not waiting for this one content. People are bored with content. Ad avoidance is on the, on the rise. And really, there is a change in the way brands have to think about what they're doing today. And 
it's no longer what about what you have to say. There is a bit of say in what you what we're talking about, but there's a lot of brand do. And I think there are many great examples around us. I'm, I've just picked up a few. These are not necessarily the best, but just a few which came to my mind up front of brands who've done really great work in terms of the brand do leading to what the brand positioning was rather than the brand say. And I think this was some of the inspiration that started the Airtel journey. And, and this is not my journey. I, I, as I said, I'm very privileged to hear, come here and present to all of you. But this is a journey that started four years back on this brand. And I want to really talk about this journey of what Airtel started with. So Airtel, as we know, is, is a telecom brand. It's been, it was the first telecom brand which has stayed uh, for the last 25 years now in the company, country. And, and it was, it's gone through various phases where we spoke about relationships, connections, talking, a lot of storytelling as was the history of this brand. Till in 2015, uh, with the new technology of 4G coming in and a competitive context changing, uh, Airtel actually went ahead and for the first time went into a very activist mode of advertising, trying to tell about what uh, Airtel was really good at, which is delivering great 4G network. And that's the time when you guys became familiar with this face of the brand and, and some a whole host of challenge format advertising which came into Airtel. I just am going to play one ad as a reference of just to jog everyone's memory back so that the rest of the story becomes clear. So Prateek, can we just have the ad please? <laughs> country when, uh, and this was really the campaign around which a lot of rethink on the brand started happening. And the reason for that was the customer reality was very different from what was being advertised. And the reason for that was data was growing in this country and still continues to grow at a rate at which infrastructure just couldn't keep pace. And, and there was actually the, while we were the fastest network uh, and we have been the fastest network all this while the actual user experience wasn't always great. And, I, and, and that was the biggest reality that we were facing with. Now, there were various reasons. As I said, data prices were too low. Growth was unprecedented. Infrastructure was not able to keep track with. So you said, and all of this kind of advertising was leading to a lot more of credibility questioning from the user rather than uh, a positive reaction. Although there were a lot of early adoption that happened with the ad, but that's what over time, over a year of doing this kind of advertising really took us to. That's when, and, and all of this was happening in spite of unprecedented network investment. So this is like a, a graph of how much network investment went in. And this is after the year after we put this campaign in our network investments went up by 40%. But the quality of, because of this data surge that was happening, the data was growing at 200, 300% annualized growth in the country. No infrastructure was able to keep track of. And that's when there was a big, big shift and we paused and we really looked at ourselves in terms of saying, guys, what is it that we really are doing? And I think that's when one of the biggest thoughts within the organization came through, which was the th thought of an open network. And we, we went ahead and put a, a 
a manifesto for ourselves. I don't know how many of you can read it, but I'll just read it out for you everyone. I think it's about open questions. Sometimes a big step starts with an open question. We asked ourselves too, are we the best network we could possibly be? Honestly and humbly, no. Do we want to get there? Fervently and definitely yes. So for starters, we have decided to become India's first open network, which means you have open access to our tar maps, our internet strength, our strong signal zones and our weak spots. Not just in your state or city, but right down to where you live. So please judge us, question us, tell us where we are going wrong and partner us in getting it right. Because the truth is, you know what you need far better than we know what you need. And if we want you to open up to us, we have to start by opening up to you. So we are starting with two simple words, questions open. That was really our manifesto, which was really about partnering with customers to really set our network right. And we actually, the Airtel app had a tab of open network where you could just tack it. And on a Google map kind of a platform, you could see everywhere where the tower is, all the, sorry, the, the purple areas are where you have good network, the orange areas are where the network strength is weak and you will have call drops. And there were even intimations of saying, where are we planning to invest next? Where is our next tower coming in? In few months, network will become better on this. And to communicate to this, we then put out a campaign to the users to talk after having fixed all of this as a process. Because we realized that we would, a network in tele, telecom in India is never going to be perfect. We'll always be imperfect, but we are trying and we are honest. And that's where open network came in. Prati, can we have the film, please? They don't care. Sare same care ke mooli. Har jage network pakarta nahi hai. Kahan network hai, kahan nahi hai. Ye to sabse badi rahasya ki baat hai. Mere baithe mein aap baat kare, pasand liya call drop ho jati hai. Toh har network hai kahan? Ye to batao. Sare sawal, sare jawab, jitne bhi saamle le aao, dud ka dud pani ka pani ho jayega. Problem hume humse kya chupa rahe? Gut sir, aapke paas dikhaa. Aap sab kuch dikhaa denge to kya paap ho jayega? Arey dikhaao na toh. Openly dikhaiye na. Kahan aata aapka network? Kahan hai aapke towers? Ham aapse kuch nahi chupayenge. तभी तो हम बने हैं इंडिया का पहला ओपन नेटवर्क ऑल आंसर्स वुड बी लाइक गिवन टू अस। सारे टावर्स उनकी सिग्नल स्ट्रेंथ आपके मोबाइल पे मुझे इसका घर दिख रहा है इसके घर के पास कौन से टावर्स हैं नहीं है वो भी दिख रहा है तो ये सब अभी मुझे मेरे फोन पे दिखेगा कम से कम एटलीस्ट यू नो देर इज नो टावर हियर दे आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड टावर हियर दिस इज ट्रांसपेरेंसी क्योंकि सही गलत सामने आने से ही बनता है सबसे बेस्ट नेटवर्क so that was our big attempt at really changing the whole orientation of the way the brand would reach out to its customers and lo and behold this was one of the biggest successes that we had on the brand all brand scores went up trust transparency quality even perception of network quality while in reality nothing changed but just the consumer acceptance of the network went up dramatically in the same phase as we went about this and this then we started building and and really there was a we were all learning as we went through. It was not like one fine day we were all wise. But I think it was a it was a three year journey where we kept asking ourselves what next in terms of transparency, what next in terms of being an honest brand, and then we went into this whole space of talking about our network through the consumer's lens, through campaigns where we spoke about what the consumer actually speaks about us, and and telling them what we are doing to solve it. So Prati, can we please have a, the next ad? फोजी के सबसे पहले यूजर्स में से हूँ तब तो सिर्फ एयरटेल होता था मैंने एक साल के बाद एयरटेल छोड़ दिया ए डोंट लुक एट मी लाइक दैट कम ऑन यार क्या करें सब बोल रहे थे कोई ये वाला फोर जी अच्छा है वो वाला फोर जी अच्छा है तो मैंने कहा तेरा मेरा छोड़ते ना यार चेक करते हैं इंडिया का बेस्ट चलो फास्टेस्ट नेटवर्क कौन सा है तो उखला स्पीड टेस्ट के ग्लोबल लीडर्स उन्होंने तीसरी बार कहा इंडिया का फास्टेस्ट नेटवर्क वही पहले वाला एयरटेल तो बैक टू एयरटेल बस एक्सपीरियंस से बोल रहा हूँ। You know what? सही किया। सब कुछ ट्राई करना चाहिए। तभी तो सही गलत सामने आता है ना? क्यों? हाँ भाई, मैं ही बोल रही हूँ। सब कुछ ट्राई करो, फिर सही चुनो। So we went about and there were series of campaigns that kept coming. This is how we kept talking about our and there were lots of themes and that we picked up from the users having left us, have come back and so on and so forth. There was Actually also a time when a very large set of users actually went out to try other networks for, for value, for price, for free data. What, as we went through this journey, we also started 
picking up the all the consumer digital interactions and that's something I think a lot of companies do and started building all our marketing plans around what we were hearing from the consumers on, on social media. Our network planning moved to a transparent space. All our innovations started coming in uh, from, from all the things we were hearing back from the consumers. And I think this was really transformative for the brand. Everybody in the organization, because the history of telecom was you put a tar, you had business. And therefore, the consumer was always left behind. And, and I think this was a big, big shift in the telecom world, which is everything was coming, what we were hearing back from consumers were going back to consumers uh, with solutions. And lots of campaigns were also initiated by what consumers were telling us. And I'm just going to, uh, and, 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 and the brand in this phase really evoked a lot of uh, interactions. We get nine to 10,000 daily mentions on social media. And, I'm, I'm, and the biggest question we asked ourselves is, we try to do FGDs. We, we work so hard with agencies for people to tell us genuinely what they feel about us. There are 10,000 of them telling us every day what they feel about us, what they want from us. And, and this became the crux of all the marketing that Airtel started doing. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about, I think the biggest thing we did on the network was, uh, we really created this mega center where we started tracking every piece of mapping social media, actual network feedback, actual network performance, into looking at the entire country from where is our network performing, where it's not performing. There are many practical reasons why. And we, we by the way, get, we get trolled on, uh, on social media like nobody's business. I think telecom must, must be one of the most trolled uh, categories on social media. But we map the social media feedback right back to our networks to do diagnostic on a real-time basis. That became one of the biggest actions we took internally, saying we cannot ignore what's happening here. The second thing we did, was we started innovating as I spoke about, Com totally hearing what consumers had to tell us. And I'm just going to pick up one idea which came out of what consumers was, were telling us. And here's an innovation we put in market which had humongous success for us on Postpaid. Internet Diwane. Hi. What have you done for your network? Oh, one month you आज से ये नहीं होगा नया एयरटेल पोस्ट पेड प्रोमिस हर महीने जो डेटा यूज नहीं होगा वो हम अगले महीने याद करेंगे and then I think uh, as we went about this, uh, we even went to the extent of uh, using social media chatter to talk about our campaigns. And I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to wrap this up, but I really want to play this copy, which was one of the boldest copies we put out uh, in the space of transparency. Dear Airtel, ye ad bad karna band karo aur apna network theek karo. Varna apna network lo aur... <laughs> I don't believe it. 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 I I don't believe I इसका स्पीड सबसे बेस्ट है कोई कोई लोग नहीं ऊखला स्पीड टेस्ट के ग्लोबल लीडर्स ने भी यही कहा है फिर से तो चुनो वही नेटवर्क जो बेहतर बनता जाए स्विच टू एयरटेल एंड आई थिंक देयरफॉर दैट वाज द होल पिवट दैट वी मेड ऑन द बिजनेस व्हिच इज रियली टू मूव टुवर्ड्स अ बिट ऑफ ऑनेस्टी ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड सर्विस वी वुड नेवर बी परफेक्ट बट वी आर ट्राइंग टू गेट बेटर एंड आई थिंक रियली द बिग क्वेश्चन फॉर मार्केटर्स व्हाट डू कंज्यूमर्स वांट एंड आई थिंक द I think the crux of what we started doing is saying, what they really want is all out there. Is somebody willing to listen? And I think if you just start from there, I think everything else becomes clear in this world of transparency and relevance. Thank you so much.
sorry uh, could i please have you once again back on stage we would like to present you a token of gratitude for sharing the various marketing strategies campaigns innovations and its success stories and i would like to invite neeru salat the zonal business head from the hindu to please join us and present him a token of gratitude Thank you thank you once again sir thank you